ಶ್ರೀ ಸದ್ಗುರುರ್ ವಿಜಯತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಾನಂದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈಕರೂಪಿಣ್ಯಾ ಪಾದಯೋ ಪ್ರಣತಾವಯ ಐ ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಸೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ಮಾಂಸ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಪನ್ನೀರ್ ಸುಲ್ಲಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಒಯಲ್ ಕಮೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಪರ್ವೀನಾಸ್ ಪರ್ವೀನ್ ಸುಲ್ತಾನಾಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಯ ಆರ್ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಾಫಿಕಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ದರ್ಶನಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ತಿಕ ದರ್ಶನಾಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಯೋಗ ಮೀಮಾಂಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪೂಜಾಸ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಜನರಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಮಮೋಪಾತ ಸಮಸ್ತ ದುರ್ದಕ್ಷ ದ್ವಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯರ್ಥಂ ಐ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಕ್ಯೂರ್ಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಮಮ ಉಪಾತ ಸಮಸ್ತ ದುರ್ದಕ್ಷ ದ್ವಾರ ದುರಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ for the, what is called the abliterating all the acquired sins i am doing this particular puja but even though all of us say same thing from kashmir to kanyakumari from kutch to kamaro all the people will utter this particular thing but the meaning will be from each and every perspective say essentially in south india we are vedantins so since we are vedantins we have got one particular common idea but if you go to kerala the idea of mimamsa is more there the mimamsa manuscripts have been preserved in kerala more and if you go to bengal and if you go to banaras and things like that their sankhya philosophy is more prevalent and in the if you go to west there the vallabha vaishnavism and other vaishnavisms are more prevalent like that different areas different philosophies are prevalent and accordingly different concepts are there so what will be mimamsa concept mimamsa concept will be mama upata durita kshaydwara is itself is entirely a different concept they don't take it simply as vedantin sakshat but anyway according to the concepts this karya and akarya also will vary so now let us see all the people cannot have the same thing nyaya nyaya jayanta in his nyaya manjiri says if also if we nayayika also were to discuss like atma jas ishwara etc then what would be the difference for us between adhyatmic view of upanishads so the upanishad which, which with its adhyatmic perspective it deals with that particular idea of atma jeevatma paramatma etc etc we do touch upon that particular thing that is we nayayikas do touch upon those things but we touch upon those things from pramanika pramana perspective from epistemological perspective not directly from the atma jeevatma paramatma perspective etc so the fundamental categories of nayayikas are pramana prameya samshaya vipariya tarka etc they go into totally different types of categories at all not as presented in what is called upanishadic vedantic perspective and mimamsa also says like that mimamsa what is the mimamsa view mimamsa has not simply this has been stated by kumarla bhatta in the shloka vartika shloka vartika is the commentary on the first pada of the sabrabhashya and it has got many topics and there is one topic called atmavada and this atmavada uh, has got an important point there what is the essence of mimamsa what does jaimini and what does chabara want to state by explaining by presenting this mimamsa system that is the question and there is a vedic quotation sa yesha yajna yudhi purushaha yajna yudaihi swargam lokam yati that is the man who is dead incidentally i would like to say these things the word karya has got many meanings the tamil meaning karyam na enna artham na yara poitu valuku pandra karya irukku paarungo adhukku per dhan karyam nu per karyam na obscure rights anyway but incidentally because when this quotation i have given that word has come to my mind so sayesha sayesha that is the important thing yesha is the nearest uh, pro, that is the pronoun referring to the nearest object sayesha yajna yudhi purushaha this man with all the sacrificial utensils and implements he directly goes to swarga that is the vedic mantra then the charvaka says the word yesha 
which refers to the physically proximate thing that must be referring to the physical body and then veda also subscribes to sharira that is deha alone is atma and he also says in the maitreyi brahmana he quotes charvaka quotes tan eva bhutebhya sa vijnana ganaha tan eva bhutebhyo uttaya anuvintan yanu vinashyati that is the atma rises from the panchabhutas so this maitreyi brahmana as well as this uh, particular yesha mantra this these two refers to the body alone as the soul that is chaitanya vishishta kaya atma charvaka so this is the view of the charvaka and then what happens in order to reject that particular view mimamsa has come into existence so the last shloka of atma vada that says ityah nastikya nirakarishnu ho atma sthitam bhashya kritatra yuktya one of the very very important verses in the shloka vartika that is nastikya nirakarishnu ho in order to reject the atheistic viewpoints ityah nastikya nirakarishnu ho atma sthitam bhashya krit that is sabara he has spoken about the existence of atma dridhatvametad vishayasya bodaha if people want any strong views strong ideas about atma etc prayati vedanta nishevanena let them get it by studying vedanta that mimamsa is not the subject for them mimamsa just what speaks me this importance that is in one of the sutras jaimini has written shabda pramanyat yagna yagna yudatvam gunatve devatanam syat so shabda pramanyat this is shabda is the predominant thing and when shabda communicates something when the shabda communicates something shabda what shabda can communicate this is what professor panir sulma has dealt with yesterday and uh, i would like to touch upon since he has dealt with i thank him for what is called the covering some of the areas as has been said by professor cl ramakrishnan that has been covered already say this is exclusive domains anadhigatam pramanam the pramanam is not that which has not been covered this is advaitins and uh, mean ayya advaitins and mimamsakas prefer the epistemology like this the epi- that is whatever is the source of knowledge that should be primarily and originally communicating it it should not be secondary or repetitive one when it is a secondary or repetitive one it should be depending upon something else for its subsidiary nature and it cannot be originally contributing to it so that which has not been known through some other source of knowledge that alone can be what is called the source of knowledge so anadigatam pramanam so what can be the primary area of pratyaksha what can be the primary area of anumana what can be the primary area of shabda so pratyaksha and anumana they can speak of siddha vastu the existing or what is existing factors so they cannot speak of something coming into existence pratyaksha can show you what is existing that is it is called uh, that is asatva padaka ajnana abhana padaka ajnana they speak of two types of ignorances one is vividly presenting something and another one just gives you an idea of what is in existence or not so pratyaksha vividly presents what is presented to our eye so pratyaksha can give only the present pratyaksha cannot give something past pratyaksha cannot something give you future so past and future are not within the domain of pratyaksha the domain of pratyaksha covers only the present that being the case pratyaksha covers exclusively the present and here and present anumana gives you past and future also because seshavat purva from karana kati relationship the past and future both of them but both pratyaksha and anumana cover what is siddha but what is to be brought into existence pratyaksha and anumana cannot speak of so what is to be brought into existence is spoken of by sadhya that is uh, sadhya becomes the product sadhya becomes the object of knowledge of mimamsa hence mimamsa speaks of that so karya becomes so that's why sin siddha that is the uh, uh, preterite sentence or assertive sentence etc becomes the domain of what is being communicated by pratyaksha and karya imperative potential alone becomes the subject matter of veda so that becomes because brahman being the siddha vastu yet they say this is vedantic vi prayati vedanta nishevanena that is by vedanta vedanta does not mean upanishad alone vedanta also mean because during that uh, there are already some vedantins who have 
ఇన్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ బిఫోర్ ద పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ కుమారిలా సో ప్రయాది వేదాంత నిషేవణ అయినా ఈజ్ ఆధ్యాత్మిక సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆల్సో సో మీమాంస డీల్స్ విత్ కార్య కార్య మీన్స్ దట్ విచ్ ఈస్ టు బి బ్రాట్ ఇన్ టు ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఈస్ టు బి ప్రూవ్డ్ అండ్ వెన్ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ టు బి ప్రూవ్డ్ ఆర్ సారీ వాట్ ఈస్ టు బి అచీవ్డ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ కార్య అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ కార్య దర్ షుడ్ బి సమ్ స్టాండర్డ్ అండ్ ప్లస్ యూ కీప్ ఎ స్టాండర్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ కార్య కెనాట్ బి యూ కెనాట్ డిసైడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ కార్ దెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ సే సంథింగ్ ఈస్ కార్య సంథింగ్ ఈస్ నాట్ కార్య దట్ మే బికమ్ ఆర్బిటరీ ఎనీబడి కెన్ సే దిస్ ఈస్ కార్య దిస్ ఈస్ నాట్ కార్య దట్ బికమ్స్ పర్సనల్ ప్రిడిలిక్షన్స్ భ్రమ ప్రమాద విపర్లిప్స్ దీస్ త్రీ ఫ్యాలసీస్ క్యాన్ బి దేర్ భ్రమ మీన్స్ ఫాల్స్ నోషన్ దట్ ఈస్ మిస్అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ప్రమాద ఇన్ అటెంటివ్నెస్ అండ్ విపర్లిప్స్ ఐ డిసైడ్ టు చీట్ దీస్ త్రీ ఆర్ కన్సిడర్డ్ టు బి ద ఎసెన్షియల్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ ఆఫ్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ సో దిస్ దట్స్ వై వి విస్ ఏ వేద ఈస్ అపౌరుషేయ దే ఆర్ నాట్ టెయింటెడ్ బై దీస్ త్రీ ఫ్యాలసీస్ సో దిస్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ అవార్డింగ్ ఇన్ సారీ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అవాయిడ్ భ్రమ ప్రమాద విప్రలిప్స్ ఆర్ దీస్ త్రీ దోషాస్ దర్ షుడ్ బి ఎ స్టాండర్డ్ అండ్ దట్ స్టాండర్డ్ హ్యాపన్స్ టు బి ధర్మ దే డిసైడ్ ధర్మ వాట్ ఈస్ ధర్మ ధర్మ మీన్స్ ధ్రియతే ఇది ధర్మ ధ్రియతే అనేన ఇది ధర్మ దట్ విచ్ బ్యాడ్సస్ దట్ విచ్ సస్టైన్స్ అస్ that which sustains the whole universe it is not we it is not i it is not the world it is sustains the whole universe as said by professor ramakrishnan the whole what is called eternal values so that which will be able to sustain eternally something that is called dharma dhriyate iti dharma has sustainable value sustainable thing that which sustains everyone so dharma is meant as standard so dharma becomes standard and what can be communicated that cannot be communicated by brahma prabada viprilipsa yukta purusha so that should be by only by apaurusheya veda that's why veda is considered to be apaurusheya veda is considered to be sashvata eternal and chodana lakshana urto chodana means dictates chodana means injunctions so that is communicated by injunction so karya becomes injunctive statements that which can be communicated by such injunctions then you can ask prohibition what about prohibition pratishedas pratishedas there are no in general pratisheda pratisheda means praptasya pratisheda what is praptasya pratisheda there is something which is ragata prapta that is say for example some worldly things we have got our own innate desires when the innate desires are there pravrti resha bhutana normally we intend enjoying certain things but it may be pratishiddha it may be prohibited when our desire i want to do something it is legally uh, what is called uh, tabooed when something is legally tabooed what happens i die, i try to do it surreptitiously secretly without the knowledge of others if i am as long as i am not found out i have enjoyed it but now what happens if my doing such a thing is known to others if they lodge a complaint then i am in soup okay that is if they lodge a complaint if i am not if i am found out but i am also given a chance to defend myself all those things are there everywhere if the government has punished me remember i am free from the punishment of the lord there is no two punishment for the same crime if the government has punished it no hell i can just if i enjoy the local hell that is planetary hell no heavenly hell only if i escape the planetary hell then there is a universal hell that is another matter so a person cannot suffer twice for the same punishment so the law also that is the government law also is accepted as spiritual law and religious law shruti smriti aachara and rajagnya rajagnya also is accepted within the domain within the mimamsa and dharma shastra they accept the domain whereas kautilya say there is a relative prominence the relative prominence means um, the rajagnya that is shruti takes uh, in the spiritual and religious realm shruti takes predominance whereas in the secular realm that is kautilya in the artha shastra he speaks rajagnya as the predominant one the other things lower pramana and remember apastamba says dharma dharma na aakase charata aham dharma aham adharma iti dharma and adharma are not going in the flying in the area saying i am dharma i am dharma they don't communicate i am dharma i am adharma 
यम आर्या प्रशंसती स धर्म यम आर्या गर्गंती स धर्म वाट जनरली सिस्टर्स एक्सेप्टेबल पीपल द पीपल हू आर हेल्थ दस मॉडल बै द वर्ल्ड वेन सच पीपल से दिस इज धर्म दट इज द धर्म टू बी फॉलोड बै एवरीबडी एंड वेन सच पीपल से दिस नॉट गुड थिंग देन इट शुड बी डिक्रेड एस अधर्म सो धर्म एंड अधर्म आर् डिवड फ्रम आचार सर्वागम दिस इज सेड इन महाभारत आलो सर्वागम आचार प्रथम परकलते आचार प्रभु धर्म धर्म ईवन इन द मॉडर्न जूरीस्प्रूडेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज डिवड फ्रम द सोशियल कन्वेन्शन दिस इज हौ मीमांस आलो गोस् अंड दे आलो हेव गाट यथाशक्ति न्याय अंड सो मेनी थिंग्स यथाशक्ति न्याय मीन समटम्स बिकॉज ई कैन एक्सपीरियंस इट ई कैन एंजॉ इट that is i have become older i am becoming older i am becoming what is called because of old age what happens then our sharira also sarve indriyanam jarayanti tejaha as nachiketa said we are not able to perform certain rituals in a perfect way as i would have performed in my younger days or i would expect myself to perform so some sort of concession i have to take then mimamsa dharma shastra is yes, yes you are eligible to take concession do as much as possible do as you can but when you do it as a kamya karma i mean when when it is a duty you can take concessions but when it is volitional act expecting a result then no concession at all perfectly as it is prescribed you have to do it in this way what should be what is called prohibition and where prohibition is to be followed where prohibition is not to be followed and where our duty is to be followed etc they have discussed the philosophy this is the philosophy of karya and akarya according to mimamsa system and thank you very much